All right, so I want to take a minute today and talk about deer sanctuaries. So I think the idea of a deer sanctuary is good in theory, but I think the old adage of set it and forget it leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to managing the sanctuaries on your farm. So today I want to talk about what a deer sanctuary is and how you can manage it on your farm or your piece of ground for better deer hunting and better deer habitat. So traditionally, guys that were promoting deer sanctuaries were telling you to pick an area of your farm and simply never, ever go into it. The thought was, if we pick an area of our farm that is completely free of human intrusion, the deer will naturally gravitate towards that area. That is a good idea, but the problem is, Often when people say that, they don't tell you what a deer sanctuary should look like. The ultimate goal of a deer sanctuary is that your entire piece of land acts like a deer sanctuary. Deer sanctuaries are so much more than picking out a part of your property to set and forget. Areas like this that are high canopy and have low stem count are great during the summer and great for summer bedding, but this is not what a deer is looking for during the fall and during a high pressure hunting season. When I first started hunting 25 years ago, I remember hearing a lot about deer sanctuaries. So I picked an area on our farm and I told my dad and brother, I now dub this our deer sanctuary. So we left that area alone. And guess what? So did the deer. Just because you say an area is your deer sanctuary does not mean that the deer will actually use it when you want them to be in there. Deer love open wood lots like the one that I described during the summer because it's cool, it's shady, uh, it can keep them free of the bugs, and if you have a green food source adjacent to it, that's exactly where bucks in particular are going to want to be during the summer months. But things really change in the fall. The needs of deer and in particular bucks will change. Bucks do not necessarily desire these same bedding locales in the fall. They are going to start to shift to those high stem count, high security areas. Bucks that have been around the block for a hunting season or two know exactly where they need to go to survive. This location right here is a high stem count area with lots of downfall and lots of woody browse. That is what bucks are looking for in the fall, especially if you are hunting in a high pressure area where security is crucial. This cover was only possible because we logged here. This bedding location was created using a combination of hinge cuts and flush cuts. This was a part of the farm that I deemed a sanctuary 25 years ago, and it did not have any deer in it. That has changed drastically since we introduced a chainsaw to this area. I actually had a mature five and a half year old buck move into this hinge cut within days of me creating it. This buck in the picture was clearly not scared of the chainsaw. Knowing that deer need high stem count, high security cover in the fall is the key to creating a good sanctuary on your property. But in order to maintain that high stem count, high security cover, you do need to manage it. And that will require you going into those areas periodically to reset the successional growth so that you can keep it in that early successional woody state. No matter what, you need to manage your sanctuaries to keep them effective. Understanding the type of cover deer need throughout the fall is a key to a good sanctuary. We know that they need high stem count, high security cover throughout most of the fall, but there is a point 
if you live in the north where they will transition to thermal cover to get out of the winter elements. So having some thermal cover on your property in the form of conifers is another way to promote a good sanctuary. The best thermal cover will have some woody stems available in it or directly adjacent to it so that the deer have food in the form of woody browse to help get them through the winter months. Now don't be afraid to get out the chainsaw this year and do some work in your sanctuaries. I do a lot of work in my sanctuaries during the winter, spring, and summer months. Another reason to get out and work in your sanctuaries is to keep an eye out for invasive species. I've been on properties where guys have set certain areas aside as deer sanctuaries and not gone in them for several years. Well, what ended up happening is that invasive species moved in and started to dominate the understory of the woods, essentially decimating the habitat for deer and other animals. When this happens, the landowners create more work for themselves because now they have to do the work of killing the invasives and trying to restore their land back to its native state. My favorite time to check my sanctuary areas for invasive species is early July. That way if I do see invasives, I can manage them quickly with herbicide and make sure that the problem doesn't spread into other areas of our farm. So do we have any areas on our farm that we absolutely never go into? No. The key to making your land a sanctuary for deer is not so much necessarily picking a spot and never going into it, but it's about how you hunt the land in the fall. If you do the hard work to build up the habitat on your farm, you will have more deer and you will have more mature buck sightings. As you're building up the habitat on your land, make sure you put a big focus on screening your access to your stand locations, as well as just being smart about how you access your stands so that you're not bumping deer on your way to your stand. If you're smart about how you enter your stands and how you hunt, and the deer never hear you, see you, or smell you, your whole farm will essentially be a sanctuary. So don't be scared to get out on your property and start to build up the habitat on your land. Assess your property, find the weakest link, and start to improve the habitat on your property where it's needed. Hopefully, as you improve the habitat and improve the way that you hunt your property, you'll get to experience a moment like this in the future. You all take care. God bless.